Hey, welcome back. Did you hit the road this summer as much as you liked, or were you scared off by the gas prices, traffic, or even worse, the cops? No one likes that. Well, if you missed out, we brought Jeff in from Thrillist.com to make sure that never happens again. Let's welcome Jeff, everyone. Thanks. Jeff. Yeah. What exactly is Thrillist? Tell me about it. So Thrillist is a daily email magazine. It's a free subscription for guys. We have uh, 14 different editions across the country in cities, and there's also a national edition. And it's basically like cool new stuff, new fashion stuff, new restaurants, new bars, events, and websites that can like really help you out in your everyday life. So it doesn't just stick to one theme. It does not just stick to one theme. It's like kind of everything you know a dude would want to find out about, you know, that, that affects their life overall. And you uh, have some great driving websites, right? Yeah, Tell yeah, Tell me about yeah. those. Well, I mean, we put together this list of, uh, of kind of a few driving websites that can help you out if you're going on a road trip, things you need to know, like things that can help you out, you know, road rules, if, if you will. Hey, did you hear the road rules reference? <laughs> yes, hey. sir. So let's say, you know, gas prices, they're crazy. They suck, actually. Now, if I want a site that I can go check how long and how much it's going to cost me to go from A to B, there's a website for uh -huh. that, right? Yeah, it's called drivepricing.com. And basically what it is is uh, you put in where you're going to be buying gas, the, the zip code of where you're going to be buying gas, and uh, where you're going from point A to point B, and it will tell you exactly how much in gas the trip is going to cost you. So it'll find like how much the average price of gas is in the neighborhood that you're starting at and, uh, and figure out how much the, the trip is going to cost you. So if I want to go from here to Vegas, right. I punch it in, tells me pretty much it's gonna how tell much you, it's going to cost It's going to tell gas. you how much it's going to cost you, and then you need to add in probably you know, a couple thousand dollars that you're going to lose at the craps table, and then of course, that, that'll all be that the trip. Yeah, so listen, you can probably tell I live on the edge. You know, of course. Ride that envelope of scary. Right. Uh, I like to, to drive on E a lot, mm -hmm. and there's actually a website that can tell me how far I can go on E, right? Yeah, that's right. It's called uh, tankonempty.com. And uh, basically what that is, is you put in the, the make of your car, and uh, it shows a graph of, uh, of kind of how close to the edge you can get without like being stuck on the side of the road, you know, being kind of worried about it getting all deliverance on you. Now, is there an average, like, once my E light comes on that I could maybe go? I have a nine, uh, 89 Honda Accord. Uh -huh. It's an old Honda Accord right, right. I grew up with uh -huh. that I still have that I seem like it, every time the E button comes on, I used to drive around for miles. Is there like a, an average you can get on E these days? So, well, basically it shows you, uh, it, it's all based on user reports. So, you know, some, some other poor guy got stuck on the side of the road. He writes into the site uh, and tells them, you know, how, how far he got. And then it averages all of those together, and you can actually see the graph, you know. So the there's a formula the how you calculate all of these uh, driving on E, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it basically takes all of them, averages them, and then also gives you a graph so that you can kind of figure out where, where your safe zone is and where your maybe not so safe zone is. And I also catch myself speeding sometimes, kind of a wild child. It happens. Now, <laughs> Cops, if you're watching, turn away. Anything to help me out with that, the speeding kind of aspect? Yeah, of it? there's actually kind of a similar site that's all user generated called speedtraps.org, and uh, it keeps track of all the speed traps across the US. So, like, if you're planning a road trip, say, to Vegas, and you can put in, you know, where you're starting from, going to Vegas, and you can find out where you're going to need to slow down for sure to avoid uh, getting that expensive trip ticket. Are, are there cities? that are more cop oriented that I shouldn't speed in since you are the professional. Can you tell me about that? I would say that, um, you know, I really am not positive which cities have the most cops, but I know from driving around uh, the Los Angeles area that they're all over the place there for sure. So uh, it can be a little rough. So I'm a guy, what do you think is, is the best website for me to go to in general in terms of driving? What would be the best one or the most interesting for me to go check out? I mean, I think like really, if you go to all three of these guys, you know, you put them all together for the road trip that you're taking, you're gonna kind of find out how to, uh, how to best run the trip without, you know, getting in trouble with the law or getting in trouble with, uh, with spending way too much money on gas. Well, I look forward to speeding home uh -huh. on the freeway. Thank yes. you so much for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks Thank for you, having Jeff. Me. Now, you can check out more of the Thrillist local picks in your hood at thrillist.com slash that morning show. Ladies, you better have some sweet insider info to share with us if you want to follow that. Well, it's